Keontae, walk us through your game tonight. What was working? How'd you get those 25? Um, I mean, all the coaches was just preaching, just get to my spot and just play free and just have fun out there. So that was today. I was just wanting to get the win. Um, just trying to go to get two back-to-back -back wins. I mean, we haven't had that in a while. So just trying to do everything to get a win tonight. For you personally, did that feel like you were, you know, a return to where you were a few weeks ago? Say that again. Did that feel like the the way you're scoring, the way you, did that feel like a return to where you were a few weeks um, ago? Yes. I mean, once I seen when Keys got me the ball, uh, the first play, seeing the first few shots go in, it just loosened me up and just had my confidence going. And then just try to flow off of that throughout the whole game, just give what the defense was giving me. And Marquis, zero assists. Was that your goal coming into this one? Zero assists. You mean 10 assists? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Zero turnovers, yes. Was that your goal coming into this one? <laughs> um, I mean, it's a blessing. Let me start off by saying, man, God is good. You know, just, you know, when we was losing, you know, it could have went either way, but we bounced back, and we, we had tremendous faith in him. So I want to give him all the credit and all the honor. Um, but the 10 assists, zero turnovers, uh, the game plan for me was just, was just to come out here and be poised. You know, and get my guys the ball. Um, the way that Baylor plays defense, you know, they try to overplay a lot. So that's why a lot of backdoor, you know, lobs and backdoor layups was open today. So, you know, I was just reading the defense, you know, taking whatever, whatever, you know, I seen. Keontae, uh, you talked about getting to your spots. It seemed like you hit a few mid-range jumpers, which maybe hadn't been falling. How big is that in your game to then maybe allow you to get to the basket? Um, it was real big, just just opened up the game for me, just hitting my shots early and making the defense react. And then when I'm driving, I was um, kicking out to the, my other teammates, just trying to get them open looks, and it helped them get open shots today. So I think all, overall, it just all worked out in my favor. And Cam, defensively, how big was it for you guys to be able to get out in transition, especially that second half? It seemed like that's really when you opened the game up. Uh, it's hard to uh, stop transition offense, off misses and turnovers. So. We you know we capitalized on that, pushed the ball when we had opportunity, and got some buckets. Cam, can you walk us through your dunk? My dunk? <laughs> uh, I saw the rim wide open, nobody under there. <laughs> so I went up. I thought I was going to lay the ball up, because Marco did too. So I had to dunk it just for him. <laughs> um, was, is, is this as fun as, as, as playing basketball has been for a while for you guys? Yeah, it's, it's, it's real fun, especially when you could get a win you know, in front of your home crowd, you know, back-to-back -back wins. Um, it's just fun. It gives you confidence going into, you know, a road, a hostile environment. Um, you know, we needed this. You know, we earned this. We put in the work. Um, when things were going bad, we, we adjusted, you know, and we looked over, you know, our mistakes. And, you know, it was good to be back on the winning side of things. How much has this two-game two, two game stint at home kind of rejuvenated you oh. guys and kind of breathed life back into to, to everything? Like he said, it's just always good playing in front of your fan base. So I feel like just knowing that our season is coming to an end, regular season coming to an end, just trying to give it all I, we got out there and just have fun. Um, ain't no telling what can happen next. So I feel like we're just trying to finish out strong, finish the conference out strong, and then have a good season trying to go into a Big 12. Marquise Baylor went on a 21-3 to run at one point in the first half. What does it say about the way you guys responded after that? Um, you know, we... I mean, they got three key guys that could score the ball at will. And, you know, LJ got hot from three. Keontae was hot all night. I mean, you just, we, we just responded like winners. You know, we have a bunch of winners on this team who, through adversity, can, can respond, you know, correctly. And, you know, we adjusted. You know, we, we, we got better from it, like we always do. And we adjusted, you know, when they went on their run. But I got to give a lot of credit to my teammates who's not up here, like uh, Naquan, David, Desi, you know, Ish. Um, all them guys came in and contributed to, to this win with the little hustle plays. You know, David saving the ball, you know, inbounds to Cam, and which got us some extra points. Naquan coming in, getting some big time rebounds. He had eight rebounds today. And those were, were key rebounds, so I got to give him a lot of credit. And Desi, man, Desi is just fearless, just. You know, playing his heart out through whatever comes his way. And, you know, just, man, I'm proud of my teammates. That's all I can say. Cam, you didn't get any threes to go down today, but you were five for six um, and for twos. Just how much does that help your game when you're able to get those mid-range and, and, and even dunks to go down? <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> you know, it helps my team uh, first, and it just makes me more, you know, 
it helps me score different ways, you know, uh, put up shots different kind of ways. Like he said, uh, they play aggressive, so the back doors is open. So just playing smart. And Marquise, you guys did a pretty good job today on Flagler. Um, what was kind of the key to, to holding him scoreless in the first half? Flagler is a great player, man. Um, he's He could get cooking at any time, and the game plan was to, you know, make it tough for him, uh, make it make him make tough tools. I mean, today wasn't his best performance, but, you know, he's one of the best guards in the country. Um, so I'm pretty sure he'll bounce back for this. But, uh, yeah, we just had to make him take tough tools and make him uncomfortable and run him off the three-point line. As a team, how would you grade your guys' defensive effort? Because it seemed like uh, you probably had one of your best defensive games in probably over a month. I mean, it started in practice. You know, whenever we're in practice and we come with that energy and we have a good scout, uh, we play well. You know, and we just been focusing on on practice a lot more, and we just been focusing on the defensive side. Um, and you know, we got two wins when we focus on that. So, thank you. Thank you.